Viruses have been a problem for humans since the herpes simplex virus jumped from chimpanzees to the modern human ancestor Homo erectus about 1.6 million years ago. But now, scientists have made some shocking discoveries and have uncovered more than one ancient virus and, with the Siberian permafrost melting at a rapid rate, an undiscovered ancient virus could be released that threatens us all. What have scientists found? And should we be worried about waking up an ancient virus? During the last decade, there's been a growing fear of one possible consequence of climate change – a zombie virus. Frozen in the Arctic ice for thousands or maybe even millions of years, coming back to life and infecting animals or humans as the ice in the Arctic begins to melt. The Arctic is full of frozen viruses and bacteria, and these microorganisms have been found in everything from glaciers to permafrost, and often in the icy remains of their buried victims. Most of these pathogens lurking in the ice are thought to be harmless to humans, but some experts say zombie viruses are lurking in the ice, waiting to be set free by rising temperatures. Humans have existed side by side with dangerous viruses and bacteria from the bubonic plague to smallpox since the evolution of modern humans. We've evolved to resist most viruses, but they seem to always develop new ways of infecting us. As for bacteria, we've had antibiotics for nearly a century, but even bacteria respond by evolving antibiotic resistance. It's an endless battle. But what would happen if we were to be suddenly exposed to a deadly bacteria or virus that's been absent for thousands or maybe millions of years? Something we've never met before. It's possible we're about to find out. So how can a virus or bacteria survive in extreme temperatures and come back to life? Strictly speaking, viruses cannot die for the simple fact they're not alive in the first place. Although viruses contain genetic instructions in the form of DNA, or the related molecule RNA, they cannot reproduce and thrive on their own. Instead, a virus needs to invade a host organism and hijack its genetic instructions. Because of this, some viruses can be frozen and then thawed out and come back ready to infect a host. In 2014, an ancient virus was found 100 feet down in a frozen layer of the Siberian permafrost that's been lying dormant for at least 32,000 years. It's called Pithovirus cybersium and belongs to a class of giant viruses. Unlike other viruses, this giant class is so big it can be seen under a regular microscope measuring 1.5 micrometers in length. It's the biggest virus ever found, 10 times larger than the HIV virus. The last time it infected something was thousands of years ago, but now in the lab, the virus came back to life. Tests showed that the giant virus attacked amoebas by going into the cell and multiplying until the amoeba dies. That sounds frightening, but the good news is this virus is unable to infect humans. But that doesn't mean that the giant virus can't be harmful to people. In 2013, a virologist at the French National Centre for Scientific Research in Marseille discovered signs that another giant virus, Marseille virus, had infected an 11-month-old boy who underwent surgery and survived the infection. In 2016, scientists uncovered the history of an ancient virus that existed some 30 million years ago. A global spread of an ancient group of retroviruses called ERVFC that affected a wide range of animals, including diverse species of carnivores, rodents, and primates. They jumped from one species to another more than 20 times, exchanging genes with each other and other viruses. However, these viruses spread to every continent except Australia and Antarctica. But ancient viruses aren't the only things frozen in ice that have been discovered. Bacteria can also be frozen in a state of suspended animation and, when unthawed, come back to life and infect other living organisms. So that no one is confused between the two, bacteria are free-living cells that can live inside or outside a body. Viruses are non-living microbes that need a host to survive. In 2005, an Ice Age bacteria was brought back to life after sitting dormant in a frozen pond in Alaska by NASA scientists. Once the researchers thawed the ice, this bacteria, which had never been discovered before, started swimming around on the microscope slide. 
It's the first new species of bacteria found frozen in ancient ice and is called Carnobacterium pleistocenium, which lived during the Pleistocene epoch when woolly mammoths still roamed the Earth. But the most alarming thing about this discovery was evidence found in the bacteria's genes showed it was resistant to three of the most common types of antibiotics. In 2016, an anthrax outbreak occurred in a remote Siberian village which sent many people to the hospital and had one fatality. A heatwave that summer thawed out the permafrost, exposing 75-year-old reindeer carcasses that were infected with the deadly bacteria. All residents close to the hotspot were evacuated, and Russian biohazard teams were sent in to contain the threat. Thousands of reindeer perished from the outbreak before it was contained and in the 20th century, more than a million reindeer have perished from the anthrax bacteria. In case you missed it, make sure to check out our video on what else was found recently in Siberia. This is not the first time something like this has happened. Back in the Middle Ages, it was common to see fields of sheep wiped out by zombie anthrax. The French called these places Champs Maudits, translated to the Cursed Fields. The Arctic could very well be a frozen cursed field. Across the permafrost, which covers an area twice the size of the United States, there's likely tens of thousands of bodies preserved in frozen soil. Some of these people may have perished from the smallpox virus, and some from the 1918 flu, which was a strain of influenza that wiped out 50 million people worldwide. But many scientists have tried to isolate the 1918 influenza virus by finding it frozen and then trying to bring it back to life. In the 1990s, Russian scientists intentionally tried to revive the smallpox virus from a body found in their Siberian permafrost. They recovered pieces of the virus, but were unable to grow it in the lab. With that in mind, maybe it isn't zombie pathogens being unfrozen we should worry about, but what scientists might try to do in the lab. Take, for instance, this next story. In 2009, a Russian scientist named Dr. Anatoly Bruchkov discovered an ancient bacteria called Bacillus F at a place called Mammoth Mountain in Siberia's Yakutsk region. Despite the bacteria's advanced age, it was still alive, but this bacteria was far from deadly. It was the exact opposite. Early studies looked at the bacteria's effects on mice, fruit flies, and crops. The results seemed to show that everything on the bacteria came into contact with lived longer, as if it was some kind of elixir of life, as a Russian epidemiologist called it. But that's not the astounding thing. Dr. Bruchkov decided to inject himself with the bacteria and has since reported no illnesses at all, not even a cold, and said he had higher energy levels. If the brave doctor lives past the age of 100, then that could be a positive sign. But just because ancient viruses and bacteria have been found frozen in the Arctic doesn't mean they're the only places ancient microbes have been discovered. Below a ground site in New Mexico, USA, Bacteria were found inside of salt crystals that researchers say could be 250 million years old. This means these bacteria would have been alive when dinosaurs first started walking the Earth. Once these ancient bacteria were extracted from the crystals and put into a nutrient-rich flask in the lab, they reawakened and began to grow. And in central China, a bacteria between 33 and 48 million years old was found in salt crystals. Going back to 1995, a scientist by the name of Raul Kano and his team in the lab managed to revive 30 million year old bacterial spores from the stomach of an ancient bee that was trapped and preserved in a drop of tree sap that hardened to amber. So do we really have anything to worry about? Bacteria such as pneumonia bacteria have evolved to live in people at body temperature, not frozen soil. Even viruses such as smallpox or the 1918 influenza virus would have a hard time coming back to infect people, and as we previously said, scientists have already tried this. We may have more to worry about with scientists resurrecting another virus that causes a global pandemic. However, the temperature in the Arctic Circle is rising quickly, three times faster than the rest of the world. As the ice and permafrost melt, other infectious diseases could be released. Anything is possible, and when we hear more information about the subject, we'll be sure to keep our awesome viewers up to date. So, make sure to stay tuned.